There's been a spike in conversation around the topic of plot twists or expectation subversion over the last few years. Just from hearing me say expectation subversion, I'm sure a couple movies or shows popped into your head. It's been done perfectly, it's been done terribly, and then there's movies like The Last Jedi where they somehow do both. And I get it, it's tough. Doing it well requires a lot of effort and thinking, that's why most movies follow certain parameters. For example, an average superhero movie probably looks like like this. Three act structure, protagonist good guy versus antagonist bad guy, a couple jokes here and there. Sir! I'm gonna have to ask you to exit the donut! Our world gets saved, and everyone lives happily ever after. And not to imply that movies like this are bad, but for a while, that's all they were, and people were getting kind of bored. Then Infinity War came along, basically made the bad guy the protagonist of the narrative and the good guys lost, and that left an impact like no other movie in a franchise of 23 films. Why? Because our expectations were flipped on their head. Subverting expectations is by no means necessary for any story to be told, but when it's pulled off well, it makes for some of the best storytelling there is. The most memorable moments in classic cinema, I am your father, we're gonna need a bigger boat, frankly my dear I don't give a damn fucking rosebud are so memorable because they were unexpected they weren't something you saw coming and that's not always enough they need to make sense each of those moments were built up to hinted towards or had social context that made them stick out defying expectations in a way that doesn't make sense makes the audience mad when your goal is to get them excited to suck them in to bring depth to the story because it keeps them guessing you're probably thinking to yourself why is this guy talking talking about old movies and that Thanos dude from Fortnite. Isn't this video about Invincible? And well, you're right. This is a video about Invincible, a recently released Amazon original created by none other than Robert fucking Kirkman, a show that masterfully defies expectations at every turn. If you haven't heard of it, Invincible is a show that follows 17-year-old Mark Grayson, the son of the most powerful superhero on the planet, Omni-Man. As he gets his own powers and learns what it really means to be a hero, he struggles with his relationships and newfound responsibilities. Sounds kind of familiar, right? Downright generic, maybe? Well, that's kind of the point, because the setup, like the story itself is a fantastic case of expectation subversion. To make my case, I'm going to spoil the first episode and only the first episode. So if you haven't seen that episode, please watch it and come back because going in blind is the best way to experience it. If you haven't seen it, but don't mind spoilers, and let's be honest, you've probably seen them on Twitter by now, hopefully I can convince you to watch this show. Now, as I was saying, the first episode, or the first 42 minutes, anyway, sets this show up as a very familiar experience. You've got your pseudo-Justice League throwing around jokes and saving people, Mark has typical high school stuff going on, and his first outing goes pretty well, despite being unprepared. Even before the twist at the end, the episode isn't boring by any means. The dialogue is written brilliantly, the action is super fun, and the characters stand out in a good way. Except for the Guardians, but that's kinda on purpose. Purpose. But don't be fooled, this show is anything but familiar. Everything before the twist is also Robert Kirkman can sadistically wrap you up in a safety blanket, making you think this show will be totally normal and oh, maybe you can show your kids later, just for you to find out exactly why the show is rated TVMA 10 minutes later. <laughs> As soon as this scene happens, the entire show is different. Mark starts getting his ass kicked more, the stakes are raised, and you know something that the characters don't, that Omni-Man is a bad guy. And this fucks with you for the rest of the show. Interactions feel totally different for you than they do for the characters themselves, which leads to a lot of intense moments where you have no idea what's gonna happen. This show spends an entire episode building false expectations for the audience just to brutally murder those expectations in a matter of minutes. They even spend like 10 minutes further developing the Guardians before this moment happens, making it sting for the viewer even more than it already would. Other than maybe Barry, which is another show everyone should watch, a show hasn't made my jaw drop like this since episode 9 of Game of Thrones. And just like that episode, the first episode of Invincible makes the stakes very clear. Characters can die brutally, and that makes the story more compelling. And not just because it's fun to watch a fish guy get his brains knocked out, but also because it mixes things up and makes the story much less predictable. This isn't something we've seen before. The unexpected twists are in the little things as well. Take Mark getting his powers, for instance. It's not from anything exciting. They just happen to kick in while he's taking out the trash at work, resulting in him throwing a garbage bag into space. 
In any other show, this would be a quick joke and nothing would come from it. But the little moment that really solidified this show as different for me is the opening scene of episode two. The scene where they not only follow up on the guard from the first opening, but also show that exact garbage bag mark through landing in England, and incidentally bringing a father and son closer together, which is ironic considering Mark getting his powers also results in growing distance between him and his own father. And that's what makes this show so special to me. It's constantly setting up for payoffs that you don't even see coming. The entire show is a wild ride. Never once did I confidently feel like I knew where the story was going, which I can't say for many shows or movies. That might honestly be the biggest compliment I could give this show, and I have tons of them. I could go on and talk about how episode 8 did in 10 minutes what Man of Steel failed to do in two and a half hours. I could talk about all the exciting things to come in the next couple seasons. I could talk about this show for hours. But basically everything I have to say boils down to this. Invincible is a unique show that I think has redefined what superhero shows can be from a pure writing perspective. It is a beautiful bold and brutal story about parental relationships growing up and what it means to not only be a hero but what it means to be a human if you haven't seen it once again i super recommend it this show is absolutely worth the watch i've been drew and i'll see you later